this video, I'm going to be showing how to mount a USB drive in OpenBSD. This is sort of a random video, um, but I thought I'd make a quick guide on uh, how you do it. So there are three main... Actually, first, let's plug in the drive. Uh, right... Right here. Now, there are three ways, you, three main ways anyway, that you can check the um, information about the drive. First, you can look at the actual kernel level information with the message, and you can type that into grep. Uh, actually, no, you don't want to do that. First, uh, do sysctl hw.disknames and system control hardware disk names and you'll see the currently attached disks are sd0 which is normally the main drive and it also has sd1 um so now you can do d message um type into grep sd1 uh, i've done this multiple times since it's been booted but you can see it'll say SD1 uh, SanDisk Cruiser Glide. Um, and of course, I have a SanDisk uh, USB drive right here. So if you still need even more information, you can do, uh, I think it was disk, uh, yeah, disk label SD1 uh, or whatever the disk in question is. But you'll have to prefix that with do as because you need root permissions. So then you just put in the password. And then uh, it'll give some more information like the size and the partitions. Uh, now, I keep all of my uh, USB drives in uh, usually the Windows format. Uh, I think this one's an F32 right now. Uh, I think there's, you can also do like um, NTFS or something. And that's usually pretty good with cross compatibility. Uh, but C, that's not what you want. What you actually want is the I partition. So um, first of all, you need a mount point. Normally people do it in slash MNT for mount. I believe this is a directory that's um, there by default uh, with the system, but you can do do as make dir for make directory uh, dash p. So if it's already made, then do nothing uh, slash mnt slash whatever. So like I have USB zero, so. If I wanted to mount multiple things, I can choose to, like, make USB 1, 2, 3, etc. Uh, so, of course, you just put in the password. And uh, since I already have it, it um, didn't create anything. But then when you actually mount it, you would do do as uh, mount. Um, slash dev for devices, sd1 or whatever number, i for the partition in question, and then the mount point. Um, so I'm doing slash mnt slash usb0, but you can do um, slash mnt alone if you wanted to. Uh, then of course you do the password again. And uh, sometimes this doesn't work if you're doing a Windows uh, format. So you can also do mount dash t ms dos uh, for the ms dos type, um, but you can also try other uh, types and whatnot. Uh, but this is the main one, of course. And of course, it's already mounted, so it can't do that. But if I do ls ls on slash mnt usb zero. It now shows a bunch of um, directories I had mounted that, or directories that are on the drive. 
Uh, if I would have done this before mounting, it would not have shown anything. Um, and you can copy these or whatever. So I can say do as. For, by default, you don't have the permissions to uh, like access the files on here. So uh, normally I just do do as, but you can probably also change the permissions you have on that directory so you can freely access it. Um, so I can I can do like do as copy uh, slash mnt USB uh, system volume information here. Put in the password. Oh, remember, you want to do uh, dash r if you're copying directories to recursively copy. And then if I just view the uh, directory, I can see there's now a system volume information copied to uh, the directory I'm in now. And then when you're done with everything, just make sure you're not um, like in that directory that's mounted. Uh, and then do do as u mount or unmount slash mount slash usb zero or wherever you chose to mount it. Um, then uh, it should be unmounted now and you can safely remove it. Now I believe you can also um, unmount the you can say like slash dev slash sd uh, one i, but um, normally I just do the mount point. Anyway, that's all. I hope this video is helpful. Thanks for watching.